Felicidades. Um. Este proyecto de John Quigley, ¿quieres quiere hablar sobre esto? I think the necessity is on una marcha grande. En Quito, en, uh, en Lago. En Lago. Yeah, varias cosas. Marcha grande. Que formamos nuestro propio ejército. Privado. <laughs> <laughs> es, es, se dice ejército, pero es como una, un grupo, un grupo especializado, sí, especializado para... Eh, de acción inmediata cuando se necesita la corte, cuando se necesita actuar. Ustedes saben que si alguien puede subpina estos videos, que es una, ¿cómo se llama? What about US, these guys? Un ejército, no es un ejército armado, es un grupo de gente para vigilar la corte. I just want you to know that it's, it's illegal to conspire to break the law. <laughs> no laws been conspired to be broken. Es para vigilar la corte porque lo que resta de caso. To prevent us from breaking the law. Hay un grupo de personas que están vigilando el corte. Sí, pero que ya sean permanente. No es que están todos es por turnos, pero que ya estén dispuestos un poco. Necesitamos una vigilancia permanente con 20 personas para seguir Richard el perito, para proteger la corte, para prevenir corrupción, evitar corrupción. Necesitamos gente, es una fuerza política que los jueces pueden ver. Entonces, empezamos con 500 personas en la corte y después de eso, todo eso, siguen como 20 y 30 personas pagadas por nosotros por su tiempo para proteger el proceso de corrupción. Monitores. Sí, exacto. Sí, sí. Pero, Yo prefiero la palabra ejército. Pero, 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 pero esta gente tendría que recibir una capacitación mínima. Tendría que recibir una capacitación mínima, cosas, detalles para que puedan hacer un buen trabajo. Eso es. Y luego, si es que va bien y necesitamos, eh, necesitamos armas, podemos proveer de armas. De Irán. <laughs> so we really need, we really need some, some long-term support to get some people mobilized. What kind of long-term support? What's that? What type of support then? Money. It's basically a project that requires us to pay to find the people and pay them for their time. I think we need like a hundred grand for like a year. Yeah, we need, we need money though. I think this is the most important thing that needs to be funded right now for us. Otherwise, we're going to lose this case. hundred grand is a lot of money. I mean, can't some of that money, can't that be, some of that be, we also don't, I mean, we want it to be of a movement. We don't just want to be paid mercenaries, right? It's got to be a movement. Talk to Louise. I mean, it is a movement. We're a revolutionary movement. Um, we need our own army. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> no, no. It paid only because it's people work. They need. They could be employees of the front. They do multiple tasks, you know. But we need to be able to have some economic support for people to leave their jobs on weekdays. Otherwise, there's no way it's going to work. Ella está preocupada si pagamos la gente para ese con sus mercenarios. ¿Qué dices tú? Yo también es. También tengo esa preocupación, pero igual estoy pensando. Cómo manejar eso, porque también es delicado, no solo porque sean mercenarios, porque puedan recibir ese calificativo, sino también que la misma comunidad puede generar cierta envidia de que están pagados. Uh -huh. Entonces tenemos que nosotros pensar cómo manejar. Entre los dirigentes podemos pensar y manejar eso, porque es delicado. Quisiera que eternamente no surja ningún problema por esa situación. Pero yo creo que es manejable, y tenemos que pensar. I threw a hundred grand out just because I see it as a year-long project. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that if we don't step up, we risk doing this forever, losing the case. Another thing, remember, this movie's going to come out maybe as early as January, which is going to potentially com to completely change the dynamic. Mm -hmm. Because let's say the movie comes out, well, it'll come out, say, in a festival. It won't actually go to theaters for several months after that. But let's say a year from now, the movie is in many theaters and it's a hit. Okay, 
and we're still sitting here with this judge. I mean, it's just ridiculous. We have to move this case. It's, it's exhausting. We're exhausted. Okay, and we, while we can do all the legal briefs in the world and host all the visitors who want to come, if we don't show power in the court, we're not going to finish this case. And we're, if we don't finish the case, we won't win the case. The meetings with the judge, like you guys had yesterday, I think are of minimal effect. I, I've been in a lot of those meetings. I think they do potentially help with normal people. This guy's not normal. He's a full of shit guy. You know what I mean? He's dancing around and charming. So I think this is the most critical thing. We have to focus, to me, on what's most important, which is pressure on the company, which was Daryl, photos that John Quigley can do, and control of the court. The legal stuff is fine. It's totally under control, the proof. <coughs> you know, Bill Powers used to come down, we need to do, fill in some holes here and there, but we could, we could write our final argument today. I mean, we have that much information. So we have to think, this is the thing. I think we have to be careful as you as an NGO that supports this process and me as an American lawyer who doesn't live here. We have to be careful to focus always on the highest priorities. You know, and we're trying to balance a lot of shit right now because ever since the Vanity Fair article came out, all this stuff is happening. You know, Trudy came down, I think Sting wants to get involved. Daryl Hannah is an amazing person. John Quigley is a person I never even knew about. I think the guy could do wonders for us. You know what I mean? And, but all that takes money and time, a lot of time. You know, like it takes time for us to do the photo exhibit and to go on these toxic tours. And, you know, I'm so behind and exhausted. So why are you trying to start new projects? I mean, the question no, is... No, no, the, the Army project is not... A new project. I mean, it's 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 an effort to step up the political power we have in the court at the point of contact where they're going to feel it the most. What about getting other judges and and other like this? The court system, you know, maybe is maybe more influenced by jurists.